Hello everyone, Johnny here. Today in this session, we will try to solve how to check whether a string contains a substring or not. We will try to solve using JavaScript. First, let us write a string constant string equals to Johnny tutorials. We have a string here. If I want to echo this, we just write console.log of string. Uh, I can write name is also here. Let me press F2. If you can see this, I'm trying to say we got line number 14. Line number 14, Johnny tutorials. In this, the question is we should be able to check whether it has it contains a substring or not. So for this we have a predefined method called includes. Includes will try to check whether the string has a particular part or not. Now let me write a small statement. Console.log in this console.log what is the string? String dot includes string dot includes. I'm just trying to write here as J O H N J O H N. I'm just trying to use J O H N here. Let me check. We got true. It means if the value is there, includes will try to return a boolean. That is a true here. Let me copy the same statement. Now let me check using small j. If you can see here, we got false. As we know, JavaScript is a case sensitive, so it is not able to match. First one is, we can do the same thing using includes. Now, let us write one more method, index of. What is the use of index of? Index of will try to check the string. If it does, doesn't have, it will try to return as minus one. Now let me write a small string where <coughs> str. I'll just change the declaration here. I'm just trying to write foo. Now I'm trying to take where s s tr equals to o o. In this, I just want to check whether the string is there or not. The substring. Oh, oh so console dot log str dot index of index of SSTR if it is let me write in this normal way uh, I will write the condition again you can see it is one it means if it is there it will try to return us uh, for example see here L. So let me write OL here, full. I have written full here. If you can see, can you see it is trying to return the index value? For suppose if it is not there, for suppose if the value is not there, I have written something like this PL. We have written something called PL here. So if it is there, it will try to write, return the index value. Or else if it is not there, it will try to return minus 1. The main agent of this question is whether we need to check a string contains a substring or not. In the first part, we have used includes, and next one we are trying to use index of. Index of. Now, can we write the same uh, string using regular expressions? Yes, we can also use a regular expressions where it will try to match. Let me write some long example where. Let me write some. SCMT equals to I'm trying to write I have one keyword I have or else I have one tutorial just right I have one tutorial okay in this I just want to check whether it has the match or not so what I'm trying to write where count equals to so let me write the keyword as 
man keyword as let me write match match indicates whether it is able to have this thing or not we call this two forward slash as pattern and we are trying to use global match in our uh, project series in the mobile validation we have uh, done the clear explanation about this uh, regular expressions what is the use of match what is the use of pattern what is the use of g g indicates global match so i'm trying to write tutorials here i'm trying to write tutorials so it means in send it is trying to match whether the tutorial is there or not using g g indicates a global match if it is there if it is there uh, let me return some count okay cc equals to if it is for uh, i'm trying to use a ternary operator here if it is not there if it is not there please return false or else if it is there just give me the length of occurrences it means if it is there it will try to return the length of the occurrences so in this console.log cc see we are just trying to write the same question we are trying to solve the same question in multiple ways if you can see here it is trying to return one it means for example see i have written something like this again tutorials what does it mean it is trying to return true because the tutorials is a pattern which has two existences can you see here highlighted one yes so we got the output of this snippet as two here so here we are trying to use a ternary operator if a count is not there if it is uh, if, if we don't have any values so then it will try to uh, if it is true then it will try to return this if it is false it will try to return count dot length so we got tutorials is matching with two things so we got an output as two here so this is how we can also check whether the string has a substring or not so there are n number of solutions if you have find any uh, alternate way of finding a solution you can just comment below this video also now let me see can i have used match here it means here the above solution is trying to return the number of times the tutorial is found in the string now can i use something called test yes let us check now how we can use test i'm trying to write uh, where j equals to i'm trying to write that j equals to foo and in this i'm trying to write a regular expression equals to in the inside this pattern let me write o o now let me write console dot log reg dot test reg dot test of j it means it is trying to check the occurrence whether the foo is there or not in this can you see here it is trying to return the boolean value can you see it is trying to return the boolean value so we can also use includes index of match test so these are the alternate ways where we can try to check whether the given string has a substring or not so can also can we also use search method can we also use search method here yes we can also use a search method for example if the method returns minus 1 it means there is no string if the method returns minus 1 it is no string see let me write something like this string equals to let me write johnny tutorials i'm trying to write johnny tutorials here and in the next statement variable n equals to st dot search of let me write johnny here and let me equal this console dot log of n so if we can check the output of this snippet it is line number 38 it is zero it is zero here so why did we get zero so okay sorry a yeah, zero indicates uh, it is starting with the index for example see here i have written something like this uh, a i have written under see here. we got to it in the sense it is trying to calculate the index value 0 1 2 it means it is trying to tell the value is at second index 
the value is at second index. So these are the multiple ways of approaches where we can find whether a given string has a substring or not, whether the given string contains a substring or not using JavaScript. If you find any other uh, solutions also, you can just comment it below this video and you will find the complete series of JavaScript and the React.js projects below the description part. Thank you.